Welcome to the Friday, November 2nd, 2012 edition of Erner Berry's Daily Video, sponsored today by Erner Berry's set of seafood wall posters. In today's video, we'll size up the latest chicken slaughter, and later, a look at August imports of frozen tilapia fillets. Now, let's look at the markets with your host, Jamie Chadwick. The Hillshire Brands Company reported a quarterly net profit versus a loss in the year earlier period when the company was much bigger and called Sarah Lee. The newly independent meat company, which makes Hillshire Farm lunch meat and Jimmy Dean sausage, said net income was $53 million in the fiscal first quarter that ended on September 29th, compared to a loss of $220 million a year earlier. CEO of Hillshire Brands, Sean Connolly, said, I am very pleased with our first quarter performance. Our volumes are moving in the right direction. Our key brands are gaining strength and our costs are coming down, while our team is markedly stronger. Overall, we are off to an encouraging start against our three-year plan to build a consistently growing and more profitable branded food company. For more information on Hillshire Brands and for other center of the plate protein news, head over to foodmarket.com. Now here's Ernerberry reporter Brian Moscageri with the latest on chicken slaughter. Last week's release of the monthly poultry slaughter was met with generally favorable reviews by industry observers. For the most part, the desire to bring production more in line with demand is being realized. Year to date, head counts are down 2% from 2011. But it's no secret that the number of birds hasn't been the only issue. Of at least as much influence, especially for items like breast meat, is the weight of the birds. Yes. For year to date 2012, bird weights are averaging 5.83 pounds against 5.8 pounds last year. As much as many chicken processors would like to see lower weights, when they're combined with decreased head count, RTC tonnage is down about 2% from last year, and that is a step in the intended direction. So in sizing up slaughter, skinny chickens they're not, but the numbers are impressive. Thanks, Brian. To wrap up today's video, Erner Berry reporter Russell Barton looks at August imports of frozen tilapia fillets. Imports of frozen tilapia fillets continue their strong growth with August imports registering over 30 million pounds, which compared to the same month a year ago marks a difference of over 20 percent. On a year-to-date basis, imports are 44 percent greater than last year's, or roughly 74 million pounds. This has caused an evident oversupply in the U.S. market where prices have trended lower throughout this year. At the moment, the market holds a steady to about steady undertone despite some importers reporting higher replacement costs in September for product arriving in November. Thanks, Russell. That concludes today's video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Today's video is sponsored by Erner Berry Seafood Wall Chart Series. These fully laminated wall charts focus on the U.S. market and emphasize the most common commercial Gulf of Mexico, East Coast fish and shellfish, and sport fish. Please visit shop.ernerberry.com or call 800-932-0617 to get your posters today.